So hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to how to map this build to a Forza Horizon 5. Make sure you're updated the latest version because the base version won't work with the steering wheel because it's always a disconnected controller. Make sure you have the latest version. Well, I'm using the crack by the way, but I hope this might help your legit game to work. Alright, so there's nothing happen if I don't worry my steering wheel is already in the D input. So I'm gonna show you how to this thing work. Setting, go to setting, go to control. See, there's already a wheel option because I'm already in the D input, like I said. And the second is go to the wheel. But still you can if I press enter, there's nothing happen. If I press the accelerator, there's nothing happen. But this is the only method. Watch. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna show you guys how to this done, bruh. First, you're gonna hold the enter button. Nice. And then second is you're gonna press the mode for three seconds. Change it to the Xbox input. Alright, done. Then second. Yeah, you're already in Xbox input. See that? Yeah. Alright, so. Continue. Um, wait. I'm gonna show you how to do this. You're gonna press this LB to switch from, to the controller. Yeah. Brother option. Alright, switch. Yeah, you're just gonna click the continue without saving and once you're in your controller go back to the wheel again and see that undefined it means your PXN will detect I mean sorry your Forza Horizon will detect your PXN and yeah like I said I'm in the Xbox controller you're gonna switch the button again one, two, three, until the blink starts. All right, we're already in the X input. Sorry, sorry, D input. So if I press enter, see, there's a wheel. And now I can map the wheel. Watch this, if I press enter, see that? And press this. All right, so brake, press this. And steering. And e-brake. And so on so forth, you just, I hope this thing, I hope this method will help you to map your steering wheel V9 to your Forza Horizon 5. Alright, thank you.